everything that we consume is stuff that has been produced somewhere else and brought to us. You can get away with all of this if there's an abundant supply of cheap energy, which is what we've had for a hundred years. We've had petrol chemical energy, which is an amazing energy source. It's like the perfect energy source, except for the fact that it's not infinite. To generate electricity and energy is not hard. We, we already have all the technology and all the ideas that we need to at least start. You just have to actually physically make those things. You just have to actually do it. For the first time in history, we have, we have the ability to actually build the world that we always wanted. The solar flower is a open source solar energy device which traps the sun during the day and collects energy. It can generate electricity, you can heat and purify water. It's made from recycled materials using very basic tools and skills. The idea was always that anyone anywhere can make it almost for free. It doesn't have any inputs, it doesn't have any fuel, um, there's nothing that you keep, need to keep putting into it um, to keep it you know, topped up or, or running over. Once you've built the thing, it's there until a tree falls on. This was just a design, an idea that sort of was just one of the many that I just sort of thought up. Increasingly I started seeing how valuable it could be. I was thinking, if people had devices like these, if the power gets knocked out, you know, who cares? You're already supplying, providing your own. The national grid is there as a backup, but if the national grid goes down, you're still supplying what you need. If, if this project had required any kind of machined parts, it required any money to be invested, engineering ability, which I have none, it only happened because by luck, it was by definition something that anybody could do. I built the prototype, but the thing itself will be a result of whatever community comes up around it. People have to come to this and make their, this their own, adapt it, become part of the community, feed back into the community, and people in other parts of the world will learn from what they did, and I think it'll sort of spread out from there, I guess. As long as it's my project, it's nothing. As long as it's something that I'm taking around the world and I'm sort of, you know, working with, then it's just a project, it's just an idea. The prototype is working, the next step is to get people aware. Anyone who wants to make this thing is basically waiting for the tutorials to come out. The tutorials are also a, um, a work in progress and, be, and also going to be open source. I mean, it's ultimately going to become a wiki that people can put into. The idea of micro-generation, that people can produce their stuff themselves. This approach as a whole is not only the best way forward, it's kind of the only way forward. I mean, it's energy. It's the basis of everything. This will be, things like this will be what we rely on for our everyday lives.